Are you ready for a picture? Nice to meet you too. You, of course, I'm not looking good. But by the way, why not? We, we will. I don't know quite what happened, but somehow I was kicked out, but I'm back. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if anybody starts popping in. Hello, hello. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I'm back. I'm stubborn. All right, so let's jump into the next one, shall we? Let Abdullah have some time to smoke. <laughs> Buz Raka says, right, he can take some time to smoke. All right. Buing Yen 123 says, what is your name? My name is uh, Michael. Hey, English with Abdullah, I apologize. I'm not quite sure what happened. I pushed and poof, <laughs> it closed my app. All right. So we talked for quite a while, Abdullah. So I'm going to give a chance to other, someone else to speak, all right? Thank you very much. If you're going to be heading towards teaching English, I think you're going to do wonderful. Smile a lot. I think people love it when <laughs> you connect, when we smile, right? Okay. Uh, English with Abdullah, thank you very much for giving me the chance. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the conversation. You're very respectful, very easy to talk with. I'll pick someone else on the list. Here we go. Let's try... Nur Ruhak Sharifi. I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. So it says, waiting for Nur Ruhak Sharifi. Sharifi, I think that's right. <clears throat> Waha, the magic of Instagram. Oh. Hello. <laughs> do you hear me? I do. Can you hear me? Of course. That's perfect. I can hear you nicely. Wonderful. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Yeah, this is Nurul Haq Sharifi. Basically, I'm from Afghanistan, but I got an opportunity to do my bachelor's degree in India. Currently, I'm living in Hyderabad, which is the capital city of Telangana. And I'm glad to be in your live Instagram. Thank you. So currently, right now, you're in India? Of course, I'm living in India. All right. Well, cool. Do you speak Hindi or Urdu? Uh... I'm not a native speaker, but I can cope up. I can mingle with people. I can interact with them. Uh, I can understand. I can communicate. That's fabulous. Um, My just, I did some research before on people who speak many languages, and it's great for brain power. It's wonderful. <laughs> exactly. You will come to know each and everything from different languages. Right. It means in a cup you will put different kinds of sugars, different kinds of things that it will become very delicious and tasty. We can call combination of different things. All right. Okay, so I'm Michael, and it's very nice to meet you. Are you ready for a picture? Nice to meet you too. You, of course, I'm not looking good, but by the way, why not? We, we will. All right, let me see. I'm getting the picture ready here. And... Let's see here. I have it. Just make sure. I apologize. It's not super clear, but it should be good enough. Here we go. That's okay. Come on. Here it comes. Okay. All right. So, what do you see? Yeah. The, okay. It's a wolf. I think it's a lion or a wolf. Just it's mm, okay. Cute lady is here. So uh, just I'm sorry. Just now I have joined your live Instagram. I I was not aware of what to do about this image. Shall I describe the image or what oh. I should do? Oh, well, thank you for asking. I'm sorry I didn't didn't explain better. I'm just I show you an image. You tell me about it. You tell me what you see, and then I'll either help you out or else I'll ask you some questions. Okay, that's a really interesting question for me. Uh, whether I'm, I'm not sure whether I can give a brief idea about it or not. But by the way, we'll try. Uh, there is a lion, I think so, or might be a wolf, which is uh, belongs to a lady. Just the lady, the cute lady, uh, is embarrassing him, and just they're feeling happy. I uh -huh. I think I think they have made after a long time, so uh, it shows that they are uh, they can't express their feelings, their 
happiness. Uh huh. So m maybe they are good friends. Of course, they are good friends because if they are not good friends, how can we imagine that a lion can be good friends of a cute lady or a baby? Uh -huh. So it shows both of them they are very close friend, and uh, this kind of lion is obeying her. I mean, it's not like uh, brutal. Uh huh. I think you you said obeying, right? Yes. Right, the lion is obeying her. So in other words, it's following what she wants it to do, right? So it, yes. do you think do you think this is a real picture? Yes, I think so. It's possible. You tell me. It's your opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. Of course, I'm sure. The such, the such reality I have seen in my life, there was a president in our country, he had a brother. His name was uh, Hashmat, uh, Hashmat Khalil Karzai. And he had a, a, a line which he was very close to him. Even I can send you some pics from him that just the line was obeying him. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away two years back. He had a line whenever he invited some guest he used to show to the people see this this is my line and he is obeying me it was it was incredible for me and was that lion a big lion like this one or like a baby lion no it was a big lion exact line a big line yeah male or female lion male male of course i'm sure it was male aha uh -huh. interesting well i think it's possible but this picture right here I think it's fake. <laughs> and when okay. they say, well, I don't know 100% for sure, but I think because I got it from Pixabay, oops, and they have a lot of free pictures, right? And I think it's possible someone photoshopped this picture, right? I think yeah, so. Yeah, of course. And what does it mean if we say photoshopped? It's not actually a real... <laughs> it's, yeah, it's you... not a real thing. Yeah, it's uh, edited. Okay, edited, yes. And how would they edit this picture? What would they need to do? I mean, not the... They need a software by the, uh, by the name of Photoshop that they can decorate, they can change the image, they can do any changes, whatever they want. Right, and bring two separate pictures together into one. Of course, yeah. So, if you s summarize the picture in just a few sentences, how would you describe it to me if I couldn't see the picture? Okay, how I should describe it in a few, okay. I would like to describe, there is an animal by the name of Lion, uh, and just, it's embarrassing the girl, the cute baby, it's not a real one, but it shows their friend. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. You could also say they are hugging. Uh, yeah, they are hugging. Or it's probably more correct to say the girl is hugging the mm -hmm. lion. Because the, the lion doesn't have arms <laughs> to hug. Maybe they can use it as paws. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. And what is what is the environment? Okay. It seems they're on a garden or maybe in a jungle. I'm not sure. Uh, of, but I'm quite okay. sure that it's in a uh, uh, jungle. Okay. <clears throat> and what time of day is it? Around 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, and how do you know? It seems from the picture because it's very clean and all uh, the, mm, the, tree, the tree's leaves has fallen down and just it's, uh, it seems it's quite uh, uh, hot because that cute baby, she doesn't wear any jacket or uh, any uh, winter clothes. Right, sure. Yeah. So, um, 
let's see. I'm gonna. I will describe the picture, and then let's see how it goes. If I describe this picture in a few sentences, I would say there is a lion and a little girl. They are outside, probably in a jungle. It's difficult to see the background because the background is blurry, which means it's unfocused. All right, and they're outside. I think it's midday, and the little girl is hugging the lion. The lion is raising its head up, and the girl is underneath the lion's chin, hugging its chest. And they seem to have a great time. <laughs> of course, it is. It was All right, <clears throat> such a brilliant explanation. Thanks for that. And, oh, no problem. And the purpose is not. The purpose is to show you an example of how you could do it, how you could do it, right? So one last question, and then I'll ask you to ask me a question if you have one. Okay. If this was a if this was a movie, what movie title would you give this picture? Okay, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Let me think for a while, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, um, uh, Brave Lady. I would like to give a title. Brave Lady. Brave Lady. All right. I think that's pretty good. Thank you. Maybe we could say a brave little girl. Lady. A girl. Okay. Sure. Sure. And so I'll give an idea. It could be anything. You could say the bond between a girl and her lion. Something like that. Yeah, that's really <laughs> great. Yeah. More better okay. than before. The first one. No, no problem. We're, it, there's a, a million possibilities. Okay. I'm going to switch my camera back around. Wow. Here I am. Great, you did okay. a good job. I really appreciate that. That was likewise, very well done. And you seem very confident when you speak. Way to go. My and pleasure. I urge you for that. just to keep keep speaking because it's guaranteed to make mistakes. If native speakers, if I make mistakes in English, but we keep talking, right? <laughs> Whatever course. language. Actually, to be honest, I didn't uh, play such kind of games ever in my life. Once upon a time, I was doing a COP certificate of proficiency at one of the most popular university or reputed university in Hyderabad. And we had played once upon a while, this such types of games. It was a combination of multiple images that we should gather them and we should make a perfect pitch, what it represents how, what is the aim of that image. So, uh, and it's my second time I am playing with you. It was really, you did brilliant and I learned a lot. So you say thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. And can I can I explain to you why I like to use pictures? Yeah, of course. That would be my pleasure, and I will be all ear hurt. <laughs> well, the reason is because it's 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 real life, right? I mean, the, it might be a fake picture, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but the details are real. These, these are voc this is vocabulary, words, phrases that you can use in real life. So sometimes when we're students, we focus so much on the books and writing and stuff in the class. But once we get outside the classroom, we get scared <laughs> because it's real life. <laughs> exactly. All right. So go ahead. If you have a question. Yeah. Actually, I don't have the question. The thing which I said, the peak was real. I had seen the reality of that. French, uh, friendship or a bond between a lion and a man who has lived in Afghanistan in our country even if it could possible I will take some videos and I will share with you that how friendship they were it was amazing and unbelievable are they still alive or is it a long time ago that that person he passed away but his line is alive that's cool well, that's that cool incredible big whenever he was inviting anybody to his home, just he was coming with his line. And all the people, uh, the people were afraid of being there. Oh my God, you came with your line. Uh, the, your line might be, 
uh, hand us like that so then he, the it, the line was obeying him a lot they were very close friends as well that we cannot imagine how a line can become a friend of a person i, I think that's very cool exactly very neat yeah that's cool okay well I need to finish up because it's getting late here. So thank you very much for coming on. Thank you so much for re receiving my request. I cross my fingers and wish you all the best. Have a fantastic afternoon or evening. Okay. All right. See you later. See you later. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Oh, so that was full of excitement today. <clears throat> What do we have? Four people, five people that came on. Wonderful. So uh, this is going to be the end of uh, this live for today. Thank you very much for uh, for hanging out with Able Idioms. And let's see. I don't want to forget anything. Uh, I will put this video on our YouTube account. It's going to take me a little bit to download it, download it, edit, and all that stuff. But let me just show you where it will be eventually. It will be at youtube.com, <clears throat> Able Idioms, right? And I'll put links like I usually do. All right. Okay. So this is the end, and it seems like it's my tradition or starting tradition that I say thank you in as many languages as I can because... I wish I spoke all of your languages, so we'll try to go through the list because I got to go. Let's see, uh, Ashokran, Arabic, English, thank you, French, merci beaucoup, German, danke schön, Hindi, uh, namaste, oh, no, no, danivad, Urdu, shukriya, Japanese, arigato, <laughs> arigato, Mr. Robato, <laughs> uh, Korean, kamsa hamnida, uh, Mandarin, Chinese, she she, Cantonese, doce, uh, Uh, Hakin Chinese, Gamsia, Russian, Spasiba, Portuguese, Obrigado, Spanish, Gracias, Muchísimas Gracias por estar con nosotros, Increíble, Indonesian, Terima Kasi, uh, Danibad, let's see, oh yeah, I can't forget Turkish as well, Teşekkür, Teşekkür, Teşekkür Ederim, is Teşekkür by itself all right, Tuatanis is Sawadi, Not sure what language that is. Hmm. The Argentina, so gracias. Muy amable, gracias por estar con nosotros. All right, I see, I think it's Korean, right? Comes to Hamnida. I learned how to say where's the bathroom in Korean in, in a few languages. Let's see. I think in Korean, if I say, Hwa Jung Sili Odie Sumnika, I think it means where's the bathroom. And in, in Japanese, it should be Toi Dewa Doko Desuka. Okay. All right. Noor Hak Sharifi says, Just now I sent you that guy with his line. Okay, I will check it out later. Grazie. Ooh, grazie. Is it Italian? Grazie, grazie. Grazie, I'm not sure. Okay. Well. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I, this will be live for 24 hours. Then I'm going to download it and stick it on YouTube. All right. Thank you very much. I had a wonderful time. You guys are fabulous. I'm the teacher, but without students, I'm here talking to myself. <laughs> okay. See you. Until next time.